Incredible competitive experiences with other real players lead to some of the most heart-thumping, pulse-pounding moments in gaming. Those same aspects are fully realized in chivalry medieval warfare. That's right, not modern warfare ladies and gentlemen, medieval warfare. So get ready to take the guns and UAVs and replace them with pikes, bastard swords, and tower shields because chivalry is about to get up close and personal. And, and I mean, who needs guns anyway? Guns are for weak little hybrid seal walrus babies. I mean, everyone knows that, right? I mean, right? Anyway, Chivalry is a purely online player versus player game where two factions are pitted against one another to answer that age-old question that has plagued mankind since the Dark Ages. Who would win? The blue team or the red team? And that's what you're here to figure out. Before that though, it's best to hit the brief tutorial because despite its simple hack and slash look, Chivalry's combat is actually quite robust and diverse. You have three basic attacks. Slash, overhead, stab. The diversity is heavily influenced by weighted combat and alternate weapon loadouts, but the different classes play the biggest part. The four different classes in Chivalry are the Archer, Man-at-Arms, Vanguard, and the Knight, each with their own unique talents and weapon proficiencies. The Vanguard, for example, can wield long pikes or spears and can do a leaping attack to plunge himself into the fray. Or the Knight can equip a tower shield and has very thick armor but slow movement speed. Regardless of the class, the basic combat is pretty much the same for each character. There are three simple attacks and then there is parrying and blocking. And each attack has its pros and cons, like the overhead attack has the highest damage but the vertical downward motion of the strike is the most difficult to land. Or the horizontal swipe is the easiest to find your mark but is much weaker. Combat is also weighted and depending on your equipment these different attacks might not execute right when you hit the button. So the combat takes a bit of getting used to and finding the weapon and style you like in combination with the right class is very important to achieve victory over your foe. To engage your enemy, Chivalry has some standard multiplayer fare, like Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill, but it does have some nicely inspired medieval games like progressively moving siege weapons forward to castle walls, or defending peasants while the other team attempts to burn and pillage. No matter what tasks or foes that are encountered on the battlefield, the six different maps are really well designed and look pretty fantastic while also bringing the sights and sounds of medieval warfare to life. The chaos of the blood-soaked, brain-drenched battlefield captures the insanity of ironclad warfare, especially so when up the 32 people clash at once to bring honor to their faction. But the elegance of a one-on-one -on -one battle displays the diligence and sophistication that can be obtained by honing your swordplay with the complex and deep combat system. So no matter if you're here to just bash in some skulls on a random mayhem-ridden war ground or dive deep into the subtle nuance of intelligent combat, you needn't look any further than chivalry medieval warfare. Yeah. 